So what we are developing is a early blood-based diagnostics, basically to detect cancer early. We all have loved ones who died of cancer, which is diagnosed just too late. We can do better if we catch the cancer early. So what we are doing now is to use a novel class of biomolecules called the microRNAs. Now let me tell you something interesting about these guys. We've been talking about DNAs all for the past 10, 20 years. So now we have a new class called the microRNAs. So what this guy is doing is essentially to regulate how DNA is made into proteins. So when you're growing, these microRNAs are there. When you have a disease, these microRNAs are there. So what we do, Marexis, is to develop a technology to measure these microRNAs in blood. So by being able to do that, we, are, we offer a ongoing monitoring of the health status of human, and through that, we detect cancer early. We don't have anything in blood that can help you to say whether you are on the way to develop a cancer. So let's say you want to go for a check, you go to the hospital, people ask you to do a screening. So in the case of breast cancer, you go for mammography. In the case of gastric or colorectal cancer, you go for endoscopy, which is really not comfortable and costly. So what we are offering is an alternative. So you go to the hospital, drop essentially three drops of blood, you go home, we'll take that blood into the lab, do a test, which lasts about two to three hours, and from there we offer results to say, you better watch out, you should come back, see your doctor, do a more invasive procedure. We are based in Singapore, uh, but Singapore is a small market, and what we are hoping for is to develop tests for various regions, because in the US you may have a different kind of cancer concerns, Whereas in Asia, we have different types of cancers that's of urgent needs for us. So we are here to look for partners uh, that can bring this technology to US and, and answer the unmet clinical needs in this place. I think the challenge right now is there is nothing like this in the market. So regulatory wise, we need to work very closely with FDA because this is a new test. We need to push that out and get the feedback from the ground and see how people will take this kind of test because there is really nothing like this there at the moment.